Hey, what's going, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing some more Danganronpa 2. Last episode, when we were with Georgia, we ended up in this strawberry room. And, yeah, I think this is our motive. I'm pretty sure this was, like, our big motive was to escape. And, yeah, we are teamed up with Mecha... Uh, Mecha... No, Mecha... Mekamaru. Or Nekamaru. Whichever one you like. I like Mekamaru. So, we're not sick with Nekamaru. Anyway. Let's manic ma magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, it'll solve everything. Fair enough. Alright. No matter where you look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but these patterns continue. I might just get sick of them. Oh. According to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. Then it looks like we don't have any other business on this floor. <laughs> just so you know, Hajime. Let me know when you're feeling thirsty. Is he talking about his soda fountain? I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. Alright, so we actually can move. There's our little monkey mouth. Huh? I've been found. Yes, yes you have. So this is going to be our... So I'm going to go ahead and... I took a bit of a break from YouTube, but it wasn't long. It's only a, what, about a week, maybe. But with Resident Evil 8, that just came out. I have. I will always forget that this thing fucking exists. It's dead, isn't it? But with Resident Evil 6, uh, 8 coming out, or I guess has been out, I have been having a fucking blast with it. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad I'm making a series on it. And like I said, after, like I said when I was playing that, after that, we'll be playing Subnautica Below Zero. According to the map, there should be a guest room and lounge on the second floor. Oh. Alright, I should go explore the guest room. The lounge is all to you. Yeah, got it. But, Jesus Christ, this is like fucking annoying. But, to be at, the lounge is here. But, before we go in there. But yeah, so after that, we'll be Subnautica Below Zero. And then, I don't know what I'll be playing. I might just be playing some one-off games, some smaller games. Um, I would say I'll play Dark Souls, but I'm playing that in my free time, mostly because those games I fucking hate, but I also love. So I don't think they'll be good content. Maybe I'll stream them if I end up replaying one, or if I play the first one. I've only played the second and third one, but not the first one. Awesome, that's good, because I can just fucking hatch the egg again to see what I can do. Alright, I might want to keep an eye on this thing. But, with that being said, and then after for a while, in about a month or two? Actually, does it come in next month? Next month we'll be playing Scarlet Nexus when that comes out, and I think that actually might be coming out next month, now that I think about it. We might actually, depending on how long uh, fucking Subnautica is, we might actually be done right as it comes out, or even during. Um, we'll so, and while we, we will be playing, uh, fucking, I might, I, I'm, I will continue Persona 4 eventually. I'm just taking a small break from it. And, um, I'm probably going to end up playing, I know I'm going to play V3. I might play Ultra Despair Girls. Maybe. And there's a few other games that are coming out, or that have just came out, that I'm really interested in. There's a ReZero game that's come, that just came out that I'm really fucking interested in. And it'd be expecting these videos from that. Anyway, let's head to the lounge. Enough of me just rambling about random shit. So this is the lounge. This is also completely covered in strawberries. It's going to be def difficult to relax here. I guess for now I should look for things I might be able to use. I see. This I see. place is supposed to be a, a lounge? But it seems I may, not, I may not be able to calm myself and relax in here. Seriously, I thought the amazing part wasn't a bad taste. This is even worse. You are right. I agree. Monokuma's eccentric taste would shock even in an Indian. Shock an Indian. What the? Poor child. Anyway, you're gonna. How meaningless. To think the savage tone would confuse me. I've waited for you. Invading Black Dragon. Charm P, exert your strength to your heart's content. <laughs> I shall wait until Charm P returns with his report. 
He has such a skillful control over his hamsters. I wonder if I'd actually communicate with him. Ooh, there's a phone in here. Uh, there's a telephone. In fact, there's a, there's a phone in this building that's clearly suspicious. I'll be able to call somewhere out with this. When I walk towards the telephone, I immediately notice it. What is this? It's a uh, number button. There's a single button with a grape on it. But why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. Uh, this is like connecting somewhere. But no one's picking up. Grape room? Maybe there's a grape room. Let me tell you. One mysterious device. It may be used for summoning a ritual. A novice should care shouldn't carelessly touch it. It's probably not that dangerous, aside from the button, it looks like it's another it's another regular telephone. But it doesn't work like a normal telephone. And I don't even know where it connect where it's connecting to. This too must be the will What's going on? My four, my four dark divas destruction are investigating the area. I'm assuming there's nothing to note to report. Listen. Why have you given up? There may still be something on this floor that we have not yet searched. Yeah, you're right. It's still too soon to give up. I leave that matter to your discretion. Uh, all right. Let's try exploring the first floor I haven't seen yet. All right. We're in the longest chapter, is, including since like we already have a motive, and it's a rather small fucking place. Deluxe room. Alright. So I wonder... Because I know... Are we on the first floor or are we on the second floor? Fuck. So we have the deluxe rooms there. We have a standard room and two uh, crummy rooms. I don't think we have any other... Yeah, okay. So this is, should be the first floor then. There wasn't any terribly important on the third floor or second floor. Well, that doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. No. So we have the strawberry hall. The final dead room. That's not terrifying at all. Yo, Chiaki. What happened? Did you get tired again? Nope. I was just thinking. Why strawberries? Huh? Hmm. Why is that? Mm. Personally. I think tangerines are totally fine too, or even fruits like peaches and apples. You know, any of those fruits would have been fine. Hey, hey. Then why strawberries? Who knows? Yep. Such a mystery. Y yeah. What was that conversation just now? Okay. Look, uh, Kazichi. Huh? What? Is there anything you want to say to me? N nothing. The possibility isn't zero. I do think that's extremely close to zero, but it's never going to be zero no matter what. Uh, I'm sorry, Hajime. Fucking asshole. Just based on how the room looks, that's probably this is probably where the, uh, fucking hall, the, um, What's the word I'm trying to look for? Trial room. There you go. I see. So this is the strawberry hall. Seems this place is also filled with strawberries. What a creepy looking hallway. As I recall, strawberry towers on the other side of the, in the store, right? According to the map, and that's correct. However, this order is all wrong. It probably makes more sense to finish investigating the first floor before going on another areas. I get it. You don't need to raise your voice so suddenly. It's bad for my heart. <laughs> That's sarcasm towards me for having no heart. Then no way I'm gonna let that bring me down. You seriously don't feel down, huh? I don't know. Anyway. So what do we have now? Well, I guess. I forgot you existed. <sighs> hey, Nagato. Everyone is a symbol of hope. They are completely different compared to the quitter like me. I'm terribly sorry, but something like me is forced to be with everyone like this. Uh, you go to be go to be depressed in your fucking corner. This door it looks like it gives off different vibes compared to everything else. The final dead room. Allow me to explain. Oh shit! Hi, right, Monokuma. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. 
Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will when you reach the octagon with the fable holding in where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now that you're feeling heroic and willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Life-threatening game. What the hell is that? She say I can obtain the final weapon if I won? How oh, stupid. I thought I was going to do that. Oh. Um, him. Probably Gundam. Yeah, restrooms. Yo, I'm working on uh, Makamoto. This building is particular. Look at the inside of this bathroom. I can't take a pe I can't take a piece of full shit like this. Preventing me from taking good shit. This house is a totally is, is certainly defective. Can you even shit anymore? Well, I guess that means I can go check the bathrooms. Is it this bathroom? If I see a bathroom, I get lonely feel. I get this lonely feeling. When the world's my contraption going to be fixed? Elevator. No, oh, these are great. Uh, isn't this an elevator? But that's where the only stairs are in between the building on second and third floor. Does that mean there's a basement? There's a button next to the door. Okay, Pam. It's the same but it's the same as the button on the tele on the lounge telephone. Well, what happened if I press it? And so, without really thinking about it, I try pressing the button, but it's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? I don't really get it, but it looks like the elevator isn't usable. What is it, Hajime? Did you find something? The final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Well, Kuma didn't mention a life-threatening game. It's not even worth playing if you get all winning. If all you get is a winning weapon. Now then, the others should be at the strawberry tower at the far back of the strawberry hall. Show some spirit. Let's get going already. Alright. But they're all here. Whatever. According to the map, strawberry tower is on the other side of the store. There's no door knob. There's no way we can open a door like this. Maybe you just press the button that next to the door. You know, the one that has open written on it? I don't know what that means. It's funny. It's spelled like the word open. I... Wait. Seriously? Huh? Anyway. I should press this button then. Nakamaru raised his arm and vigorously slammed the button one more time as he needed to. So, this is Strawberry Tower, huh? Building a shit like a huge circle, plus the ceiling is so high, you can't really make it out. Jeez. More of these bright red decorations. What terrible taste. Huh? Well, the name like Strawberry Tower it isn't terrible de decorations are intentional. That's right. Strawberry Tower, right? Then why? Why do you see something that doesn't make the strawberry theme at all? There's a huge door at the far back of the tower, but there's a grape image on it. I thought this was Strawberry Tower. Wait, this image. Doesn't it match the one in the lounge room and also the one down near the first floor elevator? Perhaps this door might lead to an exit. Might be the exit. Huh? Exit. Take a look at the map we were received from Monokuma. I see. There's a door on the far back of the strawberry tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now, why does that mean the exit's on the other side of the door? Doesn't that mean? Therefore, we must try to confirm it by opening this door. Nikmara let out Balagrai, grabbed the doorknobs and tightly with both hands, attempted to pry the door open. However, what does this mean? The doorknobs won't budge, not even one bit. Is it locked? Oh, shit. That appears to be locked tight. In that case, I should use my full power. The fierce roar, Nekomaru put, put his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands, but... Not yet. Here comes the incredible strength of one million horsepower. Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. That would be bad. So, should we discuss this with everyone else first before we attempt to force your way through? I see. You have a point. Oh. Very well then. Even though the door won't open soon, I'll give it a rest. Then, let's go back to the strawberry house and discuss this with everyone. If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is... Right, of course all the fucking suspicions on me. It's not like I've been doing everything in this fucking game. Hmm, is it just me or does it seem rowdy by the elevator over there? 
Did something happen? I swear to God, someone's already fucking dead. I'm gonna fucking flip my shit. Where the fuck were you? What the fuck was he? Wait, but, but, but when did you? Where were you two? Where the, where the fuck were those two hiding? Okay. What do you want, Monica? How are you guys doing? Let me get a general idea of the strawberry house side. Huh? Strawberry house's side? Strange thing to say. It's not like there are other buildings. Of course. That's why there's a thing called a con the contact elevator. Let me ask. Contact elevator, you say? Hey, hey. Well, it's another. It's a big mistake to think it moves vertically. In this elevator, it travels along the rail. Even so. So even moving her uh, horizontally is the easiest pie. Does the elevator go to a different building? Yep. That's right. To the grape house. Huh? Grape house. Hey. Um. The fun house is an enormous building that is made up of other buildings. See well, later. we can worry about the details when we get to the grape house. I'll be going ahead. Huh? I don't really get it, but you just wanted to tell us to go to the grape house this time, huh? Um. Then we must ride the elevator, right? Are we screwed? W what should we do? Show some spirit. We should have to go for it. The only way we can overcome this situation is to make a move. I mean... But still, you know... <laughs> what? You scared? Of course not! Oh, hell not! What are you saying in front of Miss Sonia? Huh? Fine, I'll fucking go. I'm not scared at all. I don't have a... I don't have as bad as Kazuchi. I don't have a bad feeling about this. But... We can't just stand here and do nothing. Alright, let's go. When I pressed the great button next to the door, it immediately opened. We stepped into the elevator and off we went to the grape house. Off we go! Is it already moving? Hmm. If so, that'd be awesome. So? Hey. I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? It's probably a really high performance elevator, it's not vibrating at all. Maybe it's not actually moving. Alright, let's open the door and make sure. You must not. Cannot. This is too dangerous. Just saying inside the vibration free elevator. And the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we arrived at de we arrived at our destination. Oh boy, oh, oh Sagara? What the fuck up? So this is the grape house. No matter where I look, everything is plastic with grape patterns. I was eventually fed up with the strawberry pattern, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome to the Grape House. Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. Ta-da! This is the Grape House, in its entirety. So let's start by explaining this first floor. Aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different from the Strawberry House. Now, uh, there's a Strawberry Hall over there, that's the Grape Hall on this side. When you get through the Grape Hall, that means you're at the Grape Tower. The second floor of the Grape House is the same as the second floor? For five guest, guest rooms at different times, along with the relaxing lounge. The main attraction of the grape is obviously the third floor. The Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about my uh, proud accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature here. Hmm. Now then, this concludes the tour, but I believe it would be difficult to understand if I explain the words. So you should all use your own two feet to check out the inside of the building. Hmm? That's all for me. Any questions? Like... I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food, anyways? Is that necessary? Hey. What are you saying? Of course it is! <laughs> What's supposed to be an escape game? So how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? Yahoo! So I've decided to use your stomachs as a time limit. Don't tell me. Do you mean? In other words, well, to simply put it, yeah. it means kill someone before you start to death. Lies. What the heck? <laughs> Pain to kill someone? I highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible. <laughs> be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill. Hold on. What? S starve. Damn it. How much do? How much more of this do we have to take until he's sa until he's satisfied? Well, he was serious about there being no food. I don't want that. No way. There's no way I don't want. Thing I don't want. I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Just let me eat already. Jeez. As soon as she learned there was no food, she was overcome by hunger. 
sessions are truly annoying. Fool. But at least try to stay calm. That's not time for you to panic. Hey. Well, being loud here isn't gonna help us. But for now, we should explore the inside of this building too. Right. After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. All right. So let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey! This summer, I really want to pair up with Sonya. Like... She's already left with Gundam. Hmm. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Hey. Kazuchi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right. I can aid you too. I'm just longer gonna stay shocked. Go on, let's go. Heavy steps, everyone left to explore the Grape House. Then... Where should we start? So on the first floor, I'm gonna be okay if we start with Grape Tower. I see. So you're saying we're going to start with the most suspicious place. Alright, let's get started with Grape Tower. Show some spirit. Start it again. Anyway, let's find the exit. There's no way I'm gonna let myself starve to death in here. It's a bronze statue of Sakura. What is this? Muscular bronze statue. It's probably an art an ornament, but it doesn't fit the ambi the ambience at all. There's a neighbor in on here. Hmm? Ogre. So I mean, a statue of an ogre. Why is it wearing a sailor uniform? It's not. It's wearing a school. Well, I mean, I guess it technically is. It's kind of sailor uniform. It's more of a school girl uniform though. <sighs> Poor Sakura. Yeah, what's up? Look at that statue. I'm starting to feel a little excited. But why is there a statue like this in a place like this? I'm gonna do it. Is this creature inside this building? I don't think so. It's probably just the hall. It's probably in the hall just to garnish it. Huh? Garnish? You mean like food garnish? Is it food? Is it tasty? It's not food. It's just a decoration. Uh, I want to talk to you when we get back. Grip Tower. It's beyond the store, right? It's like strawberry hall. It's only need to press the button. Show some spirit. All right, leave it to me. Tomorrow raises his voice and vigorously slam the button more times than needed. He need to. It's not opening. Uh, that's weird. When we started shower all this should have opened. Don't tell me it's out of order. Find time for it to break down. Oh, it obviously shouldn't. Did you hear something? That's when Necmo started shouting. Oh, there we go. The door opened. Boom. What's that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? I see. This so this is Grape Tower. Hmm. The structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. You're right. The building is the same circular shape, but the ceiling is just a side and make and hard to make out. Oh, but the wall's green. Strawberry Tower's hall is red. Now uh, speaking of different, something bl blatantly different over there. The strawberry door. On the Grape Tower door in the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. Strawberry doors to Creep Tower. That sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. So I recall there should have been a grape image on the far back of the Strawberry Tower. Huh? Hmm, so Strawberry Tower is at the side, there's a grape door, and on the grape side now there's a strawberry door. That's even more complicated. Or this time the door might be connected to the outside. I see. I was looking at this map since there's nothing beyond the far back of the grape house. Probably, it's probably just how it's connected. You click the button, the thing like rotates slightly and fucking changes color. Hold it. I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try, I think. What? What do you say? Forget that. What do you think? Why are you here, Chiaki? Aren't you with uh, Nakato and Kazuichi? Mm. It's exhausting being around those two. It's so you ran away. Anyway, well? that door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely, you say. It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. I didn't find out the secret of the funhouse structure. The secret of the structure. Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? Well, pay close attention to each house's relationship to our, its respective tower. I wish I remember the first floor of the strawberry house. The elevator shawl is on your left hand side, right? Walk along it, you'll end up in the strawberry tower, right? See? On the other hand, grape grape house. From the elevator hall is on your right hand side. You walk along, you end up in the grape tower, right? Um. Well, here comes the main point. Those two buildings. Oh, so you're here all along. Ah, oh, motherfucker, you guys are here to do. Hey, hey. 
Don't go running off on your own. Hey. Just appeared so suddenly. I was worried about you. Kazuichi Nagato. You. Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone with Nagato. Man. Was that annoying for you? That's right. Oh yeah, it was. I don't want to be alone with a creep like you. This is troubling. I see. So it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Hey. Hey, are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up, shut oh yeah, thanks to you, bastard. Oh, and there's everyone else. Oh, you all came. Good timing. We're not wasting time gathering people. That was quick. Venture investigations would take more time. Well, yeah. If there aren't any other areas to search, and we didn't find any other clues. Right now, the only thing I found out is there's seriously no food anywhere. This ain't funny at all. Damn it! I heard. That's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't we, you know, the hamsters that kind of carried around. You insolent fool! You imbecile, what are you implying? Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. Kazuji, you should be grateful to Sonia. If you got in your hands on my four dark day of his destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire. Hey, hey. But aren't the hamsters going to be okay without food? Fortunately, flowers blooming in the Sakura House indoor park are cursed. Flowers from Hell's Garden? Some of the seeds are there. The four dark day of his destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear that. Now then, let's listen to your report and see what you guys have found. Personally, I'd rather let Chi uh, Chiaki continue her talk, but... I don't know. I should listen to what the others have to say. Now then. It is fine if Gundam, Fuyuhiki, and I... I'll represent our team and give the reports. Damn right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> We're joyous mongrels. I've discovered something that you fiends will find will be happy to hear about. Of course. I mean, discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are slightly off. All right. Well, a few here. We start with you. Damn right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of the grape house has guest rooms similar to the ones on the second floor of the strawberry house. But instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Also, looks like the guest room there are similar to the lounge as well. There's also a phone in the lounge too. However, inside the grape button, there was the phone in the strawberry house lounge. The strawberry button on the phone, grape house lounge. So it probably connects the two. Now then. I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use the two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the picture on the button shows each phone's connected to. The picture on the button shows where each phone's connected to. That's probably it. Alright, and then we have... Can we finish what Chiaki was saying? Personally, I'd rather let you go. Okay. Alright. Uh, then we had Gundam. <laughs> now then, I shall represent you my discovery. Let me tell you this. Why would you say such nonsense like I forgot Monokuma said it himself when you arrived here? You said there's our ship parts in the funhouse. Hey, hey. Could it be... <laughs> Kazuichi, you lully human. Watch you need to show your gratitude to me. The overlord of the ice of destroyer roared of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Be a motor. It's a ship part. It's a small ass motor. It sounds extremely small so the size of it, that it isn't that. It's just a radio controlled toy. Let me tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon. My existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps because no one ever brought me a toy before, but I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up! Shut up! I'm asking about that. You mean tell me the ship part you found with some radio controlled toy? Loser. You totally got tricked. I never said a single word about the ship being real. Stupid idiot moron. I saw that coming. What's with that face? It looks like we don't have a single we don't have strength to get upset. Mm. Might be better if we leave him alone for a while. So it definitely was a waste of time to leave Monokuma. So, when he said about our strong profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on anything right on that right now. And I think was it Nagato who had the other report? Now then. I'm gonna give you a brief report. Someone like me. Someone who made this discovery is just as important as I am. No good Which means it's not important at all. Hey bastard. Just hurry up and say it. Um, well, it's about the third floor of the grape house. See? Do you remember what Monokuma said about the Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually, I actually tried to get in there. Jeez. In the same chest, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. Remind me of the celebration of the celebrators who built their memorial house in their hometown. 
Don't look like we don't have, we don't we don't ever need it to go in there ever. Actually, I found a lost child in the local archive. A uh, lost child? What? Where'd you go? Hey! Don't just hide. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, hello. So the lost child was you. Right? That's how people react. Right? That's how people react, right? I generally don't have you all would react. It's okay. I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. How sad. It's uh, it's so sad to get used to it. She seems a little tense. Um. Tomorrow can we bring you here as well, Monami. <laughs> yes, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Like... Nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. <laughs> well, I'm honestly happy to he that you're here. Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you completely stuffed, Anvil? Is there any part of the left that's still rabbit meat? No! I was, I was, I'm expected to be food? Hey, hey. Is, was that the last report, right? And it's okay if I go now? So what you mentioned earlier, right? The structure of the funhouse? Let me ask. The structure of the funhouse. Well? I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that were connected it and the strawberry tower where you were in earlier. I think actually the same building. The towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What makes you think that? See? The positions. Well? Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when you get back in the facing of the it, right? Um. But inside the grape house. The grape hole is on your right when you f when your back is facing the elevator, right? So if we think about it like that and put those two together, mm. towers are in the same building and each house connects to the center. The building structure that comes to mind. Mm. What strawberry tower and grape tower are the same building? But that might be, but that might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at that door. Isn't the strawberry image on the same door that one of the elevator and telephone? And in the same way, when the image on the door also be showing where it leads to. I see. If that's the case, it would mean the strawberry house is beyond that door and with the strawberry image on it. Um. As well as the opposite of the grape door, but that was the strawberry house would lead to the grape house. I Meaning we opened the grape door hall when we came in here. So. I mean, depending on which door we use this tower, it changed to either strawberry tower or grape tower. Perhaps. Which means when you look at the other side of the Great Paw door, then we used to come in here. Yep. Yep. The great picture here actually uh, should actually be here. Hey. And what we do is confirm it, right? And close the door from the other side. Mm -hmm. That might be impossible. Huh? Possible? Why? Well, Hodge made Nekmon were the first ones to enter Grip Tower, right? Oh. What's wrong with that? Well. To enter Grip Tower from Great Paw. Do you take a little while for the door to open after you press the button? Huh? See? So just as I assumed. How did you know? Um, I was wrong about myself. I went back to the strawberry house for a while. I felt like there was something I missed when suddenly the strawberry door, hall door automatically closed in front of me. Huh? Door automatically closed? Yep. And afterwards, no matter how much I pressed the button, the strawberry hall door wouldn't open. Um, but why? Perhaps. The door strawberry house and grape tower must be designed that only one can open it can open at a time. See? And if both doors are open at the same time, we'll easily find out both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? Mm. Then the reason the strawberry door is automatically closed in front of you so what I mean is because is... we opened the grape door. When that happened, the grape hall didn't open because it was waiting for the strawberry house door to close. If you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like like, you're saying all that hard stuff, it, I don't get, but aren't you forgetting those basic problem? The color of the walls, strawberry tower, and grape tower are totally different. There's no way they'll be the same building. You don't know? You don't know? There's just lights on the floor being shined on the wall. By reflecting a color of light on the white wall, it makes it look like the wall color has changed. Wait. Then what about the picture on the floor? Isn't that different too? Um. Maybe the floor is just screen. The picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, you look at closely, it's not a picture that's actually undrawn on the floor. I got it. I see. It's safe to say we're in the same building, right? What? This is a very important problem, so isn't it better if we test it out? Test? Um. First example, 
We should leave someone behind here and go to the Strawberry Tower. Right. And it's still there. We can clue that. That's the same building. Want me to say then? No, that's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? Sensor? Huh? Did you feel it? There's countless sensors plastered all of the towers, walls, and floors. Huh? Why can't you just notice them? Hey, hey. I'm more surprised that you actually noticed them. Huh? My guess is I could, uh, that I sense that, my, that sensors can be detected any movement up within the tower. Hmm. When we react, it prevents the door from opening. God, that would at least be something like that. Hey. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? Quite high performance. So that it can even detect your heartbeat of breathing patterns. That would be completely impossible for somewhere to stay behind. Hey, hey. But by Nakamaru, he's a heartless robot. I have a motor running inside me. This is good to any human heartbeat. But if you're in sleep mode, that function would come to a stop too, right? Like you said, it sees all functions with sleep mode. My sensors won't detect it, but. Do we need to go that far to test it? I don't tolerate any robo pre justice. Sorry, you're right. And once I enter sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again. On my chest arm. Or if my chest arm uh, goes off. I'm more concerned about being left alone in that state. It's far too dangerous. Even as an experiment, possibly we might, uh, might violate the laws of robotics. Then why don't we just use this? My student handbook. I'll leave the handbook here. We can move all to the strawberry house. If by chance the handbook is still there, we can safely say that two hours are the same, right? All right, let's try that. We left beyond Shiaki's ebook right away. Then we left Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. Well, that was easy. All right. Hey, Sakura. Why are you here? Fuck off. I must say, this elevator is quite quiet. It's rather quiet. Like the toad wart. Oh, wait. Never mind. Toad's wart? What's she talking about? It doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It seems it's moving very slowly. So the two houses might be surprisingly close. The two stars are connected in the middle. The distance between them shouldn't be that much. Alright, let's over to the strawberry house star. Let's go! Hey, Gundam. Hey, Chiaki. If you press the button next to the door, you should be able to enter the strawberry tower. Hey, hey. Then I'll press it. Stay back. You fiends. What? You're just through. Ah, press the button. <laughs> Truly, this is a skyline limited art of Demon House. Soon the door of destiny shall open. Wow. Your hamsters are truly skilled. So you have a Your eyes manage to follow Desan, uh, Sandi's movements. I expect from the Dark Lady, you have my praise. Amazing. Truly amazing. You must have a strong, trusting relationship with him. Thank you. Aww. Look at him blush. Huh? You didn't need to bother making your hamsters press it. Mm. Just as I thought, it's taking a while to open. So remember we discussed earlier, and the sensors were confirmed that nothing is moving inside of the tower. And wait, the other door to close. At that moment, I heard a loud sound on the other side of the door. Donk. Nope, oh, there's the ebook. My. Oh, look over there. The, when we stepped foot inside the strawberry house, Sonia raised her voice. Look where she was pointing. It's there. The handbook. No doubt, this is my student handbook. The handbook Chucky left in the grip tower is here, and that means seems that we confirmed it. Yep. The strawberry Tower and the Grape Tower are actually the same building. Depending on whether you're into the Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grip Tower. Huh? And the door over there with the grape images all on it. I see. It's not next to it, but it appears that it's connected to the Grape Hall. Which then, why are there fucking handles if it's a sliding door? This is trouble. But also means that we have no idea where the exit is. Hey. I guess that can't be helped. There's no way we'll fi actually find the exit that easily. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm surprised. I can't believe you already uncovered a secret like this. As expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. Normally, all you do is stare into space. But times like this, you really pull through for us. 
Why is this building designed so strangely? You're so evil. Probably no reason why. It's probably just because it's a fun house. It's all the reason one of me needs. Mm. Where are you again? Yes. I'm Monami. Why don't you forget about me? That reminds me. What happened to Monokuma's announcement? Huh? What do you mean? According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh my. Is it that time already? Damn it. Fight that. Why isn't there any Monokuma announcement? Monokuma Allow me to answer. Every single day up to now, I've constantly let you know that it's morning and night on this island. Thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life. You guys. But you guys mistake me for some kind of petty alarm clock. Hello. Oh well. It's totally true that I'm. Uh, I'm pretty, but. What are you trying to say? Hmm. For the time being, the Monokuma announcement are on hiatus. I can't go outside and there's no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. <laughs> also, I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. Oh, motherfucker. I don't like this. What's wrong with him? Oh, there's no announcement. We can just look at the clock. Um. Both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks on the first floor lounge. <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so it's no problem for me anyways. It's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel sleepy after hearing that. Since you don't have any food, it might be better for you just rest and conserve our energy. Hey. For now, let's just sit on all room assignments. Room assignments. Um. Each house has five guest rooms, so we should decide who's going to stay in the witch house. Mm. I want to make things simple and split them between boys and girls. Yes. Let's do that. Man. It's a bummer, but... Well, that's fucking unfair. There's like three girls. Well, actually, this are we split? No, we're not split even. The, the ladies first. Now then, let us begin. <laughs> now then, get and shoot yourself if you would like. Mm. Let's just choose a grape house. It's in a red room. is just going to strain my eyes. Oh. The men shall have a strawberry house. Strawberry men are known for pressure. <laughs> hey. Also, each house has guest rooms on varying quality, right? Damn right. One, two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two crummy rooms. For now. We need to decide who's next, huh? Only five rooms in each house, right? Then one guy will be left over. That means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. Appropriate way. Rock, paper, scissors, of course. Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six guys has begun. And the results? I ended up winning so easily. That was uh, He's the ultimate lucky. That's right, I totally forgot that Nagato is the ultimate lucky student. So I take second place. I'm fine, I was getting bored anyway, being on top. It's decided. You two will get the luxe room. Now then, according to the third winner, <laughs> it is me. I'll be resting in the standard room. Damn right. Me and Kazuchi are next. Man. So I get crummy room, huh? Well, it's better than rooming with someone. <laughs> That's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch a cold. Hey. How about you, Grave House Girls? Did you pick your rooms as well? Yep. Yeah, we did. We had a brief discussion with some things smoothly. Soon you and I have the deluxe rooms, and apparently Akane wants one of the crummy rooms. Huh? Why'd you choose the crummy room? So a standard room left. It's not like that. So it's good enough for me. You guys might think it's pretty crappy, but it's a palace compared to my home. Um. So there's a standard room and a crummy room left. <laughs> Hajime, if you like, please use one of them. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. You can't do that. <laughs> oh my. Why not? Well. I mean, it's dangerous. Hajime might be the traitor, you know? Um. What are you saying? Miss what am I? Uh, huh? So... We haven't doubted Hajime at all. Like... Even I don't think he could try to trick us. Oh my god, <laughs> thank you guys. So you're the only one who thought Hajime is suspicious. Hey! Really, of all people you're gonna say that, you're really gonna say that. Right? Hajime, you can use one of our leftover rooms. Th thank you. <laughs> you're bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room. Even so, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. Oh. Well then, it's decided. We should turn in for today. Aw, man. It's like it doesn't make any sense. Well, thank you guys for actual fucking trusting me. At all, the guys me ended up staying in the, in the second floor of the strawberry house. The girls, plus my leftover self, stayed in the second floor of the grape house. Uh. Just as thought, I was forgotten. I'm used to it after all. <laughs> You. <clears throat> Traitor. I don't trust her. So this. This is the second floor of the grape house. <laughs> Choosing grape house was definitely a good decision. Mm, what do you mean? Um, See? Strawberry house is a quadrilateral, but grape's house is a, a hexagonal. <laughs> that means this place is far more spacious. It's quite a good bargain. 
or pr princess. You sure do think about uh, petty stuff. Sleepy. Uh, so sleepy. The look from the tumors in the far back, right? It's okay if I go already. Yeah. Tumors in the front of the crappy rooms, right? Hajime, you use the room next to the lounge. Then. So the standing room across the lounge will remain unoccupied. Easy as pie. I shall prepare nameplates for rooms later. I should also include portraits of everyone's faces. You only need to draw her face, but the nameplates might be a good idea. Good night. And good night. After reaching the limits of her sleepiness, Chiaki staggered over to her deluxe room. Good day. Yeah, then I shall retire for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> good night. See you tomorrow. After exchanging good nights, everyone went to their guest rooms. I should get some sleep too. I think I was assigned to the current room that's next to the lounge. Alright. I actually haven't seen what the crummy looks like, room looks like. This is surprisingly shabby guest room. A little code in here. The trap's coming from the door is making me hungry. But I shouldn't be talking like that for now. I need to endure it no matter what. I don't know, it doesn't even look that bad. It's kind of a mess, but no matter what happens, I'll definitely prevent the killing from happening. I won't let him. I won't let him come and get what he wants. Alright. Oh god, I forgot about working with the other. <sighs> nah, Morse code. To tell you the truth, I'm out of ideas. This it's one of the other Morse code edition. I don't feel like translating that. Or figuring out how to translate that. I don't know what's good. What do you think I am? It's morning already. Now then, there are no more coming announcements. I don't feel like my usual self anymore. Should be a clock in the lounge. Should head over there and see what time it is. Oh, that was quick. Let's see. The time is 9 a.m. It's later than usual that I'm used to waking up. But I guess it's still counts as morning. Now then, what should I do now? This kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. I better if I spend time like I normally do as long as I can. I should find somebody to talk to, or it might be a good idea to save my room to conserve my energy. Free time. Hmm. I wasn't expecting free time. Um, I guess we can see where people are. I might not spend time with anyone, though, because I don't see the point, really. So I might just kind of... I say that, but I might just do it anyways. Um... Ah, fuck it. I'm enjoying this game. I don't want to waste. I, I, I don't want to spend time with people. Uh, Chiaki. Is Chiaki still sleeping? Sorry, I'm thinking about stuff. Let's play after we get out of here. Look okay. up. I didn't want to hang out with you anyways. Okay, now you still asleep? Oh, it's you. Is it morning already? Which I do. I uh, invite to hang out. <laughs> sure, you did wake me up, so I got no reason to say no. Spend time today hanging out with Akane. Looks like Akane grew a little closer today. Uh, do I have a present to give her? I don't have any more of those. I have no idea what's in the bottom. God, I wish there was a faster way to fucking travel. What in stick? Alright. Hmm. Oh, this was unlocked. It's actually more fun than the extra game. Okay, so that was just the mode, not me. Uh, I guess I'll give her some water. She might actually like mineral water. Oh, well, you know what? I guess I'll take it. Probably won't. It's just my hunger, though. You. Everybody bummed. Are you even? Are you even? Are you even eating? Um, Hank. My name is Hajime. You only got the H, right? More importantly, are you still full of energy? <laughs> See, always, there's yummy food. Soft blankets. My room doesn't leak when it rains. This place is way better than when I grew up. Seriously? Wait, 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 hold. Um, 
You know how it is. It's only strange to find a dead... It's not that strange to find a dead body at the dump in the morning. Where are you from? Trust place where crappy people are all stuffed together. Like stuff, that's all happens all the time. How can you say that? No big deal. What kind of environment is she raised in? Since we never had any money, all I did was all I did. I did whatever I could to earn cash. Yeah. I haven't sold my usual panties to a noisy pig who kept oinking panties, panties. By the time I was able to legally work part time, I didn't have to run away anymore. So you mentioned parkour before. You were talking about that. That probably just laid the foundation for being a gymnast. What kind of part time jobs did you do? I bet you probably did stuff like manual labor. Huh. I did a lot of things. For some reason, my mom's boyfriend has always pushed me into doing weird jobs. Huh? Like. One of them told me all I needed to do was serve food. I never expected him to tell me to do it like that. Pretty sure I can get talking about being a waitress, but what kind of waitress? Cosplay? Did he make you cosplay? Um. Is that tasty? Looks like I got it wrong, so no. Whoa, no panties? What? What happened? Uh, well, well, anyway, I don't know what to do. I mean, he told me to do it without my panties, you know? Doesn't make sense, right? There's no way I could do it. I could do something like that. Of course. <laughs> that would never make your stomach cold. That's not the issue. You. What? Man, you're annoying. Tony, you made me hungry again for some reason. <laughs> Alright, it's time for me to have my fourth meal. But she said that Akane walked away. Where is she, where, where is she getting the food? Partly with Akane and decided. Are we not going to talk about how she has food? Are we? Are we? Are we not going to talk about where the fuck she's? Get, where, where the fuck is she getting food? It's time to move around more freely. So I don't think I can hang out. I still can't hang out. Hang out with Chiaki, can I? Uh, yeah, don't think so. I. Where the fuck is she? Is it just like a leftover thing for? Like, am I doing her things a little early? Or a little late, I guess? Whatever. Uh, where the fuck is everyone? That's one. Uh, it's... Sonya's out here, so I guess we'll hang out with Sonya. Oh, I'm looking at archives. There you are. Hey, Sonya. Actually, that just made me think of it. Hey, yeah, pet. I'm sorry not to give a shit. Anyway. Um, we must find a way to escape this place. What should I do? Should I back down anything? Yep. Well? Once me. Let's search for clues once again. Alright, let's go. I spent time today searching with clues for Sonia. With Sonia. Uh, wait, it looks like Sonia and I grew a little closer. Not really. Um, let's say this island is truly a wonderful place. Most the weather is calm, the sea is blue, truly a perfect resort setting. That may be true, but... Did I say something strange? No, I was thinking that you're strangely calm right now. Sonia, are you really not worried about our current situation? Hi. Of course I'm worried. And I'm also angry. Jeez, that's not something to joke about. You're joking. However... What happens next depends on us. As long as we don't not kill anyone, that is. We'll be all fine. Hmm, excuse me. That is the right attitude, but... Besides, I've come here to learn about your country. I wouldn't understand if they were in my homeland, but in that case, the land is foreign to me. Well? I don't intend to kill anyone, but I don't intend to be killed easily either. I wish she said that sounded a little dangerous. This is where my homeland, so they'll be okay if you're in country. <laughs> anyway, let's forget about killing and cooperate with one another so we can return home quickly. Saying, if you have any good ideas, feel free to let me know. I should do my best, I think that's something too. Yeah, you're right. When I speak to Sonya, I feel I somehow feel rather positive and optimistic. Such an honor. Raise your hand. There's no need to worry. Why is she sound like some? Why is she sounding? Why? Why is she saying saying sounds odd? But it certainly looks the part. Typical of a princess, I guess. Ah, uh, that reminds me. What was the name of your country? As I recall, the country name was. It was the Nautilus Kingdom, right? <laughs> 
Since as though you finally remembered. Oh, that's not a country I've never heard of. Yes, that is understandable. It's often overlooked by choreographs. Um. Our Nellis Kingdom is an extremely small con country and governed by the absolute monarchy. The population is small, our economy is thriving, so we will not dire strats at all. For generations, the royal family has protected the kingdom and probably the people from the neighboring countries. Thanks to that, people still have complete trust towards the royal family. Well. And also, wine and chocolate is our country's hidden specialty. Let's see. It really does sound like a kingdom. So since you're the princess of the kingdom, does that mean you live in the castle or something? Yes. Of course. The royal family has been living in the royal castle for for a thousand years. Though it may be old and small, the castle is truly a wonderful historic building. Of course. Of course, it is easy to get lost in the subterranean labyrinth, and our barracks are fully equipped as well. The castles really do have those. Um. Anyway, is that alright if I ask you something as well? Hmm? I can answer it. It's fine. Uh, who do you have your heart set on initially, and who do you intend to switch to later? Huh? The situation is truly similar to the story of the seven men and women. I believe it's standard tactic to start wavering and swapping partners. Um, hold on, what are you talking about? Huh? Do you really have no idea? That's a, it's a, uh, Japan's legendary drama. Well? Starts off really upbeat, and then it gets really serious. I never expected that to happen. It's like, seriously, what's going to happen? I could not take my eyes off the screen. Uh. One comes feeling that the time where... My goodness, so intense. Can you li listen to uh, Sonia's um, incense talk about Japanese dramas? It's not, I uh, totally understand. She's a major J, uh, J drama fan, girl. Cool. After politely excusing myself from the long conversation with Sonia, I went home. I went back to my room or the lounge. There should be time for me to move around more freely. More free? What the fuck? Okay, there's a lot of free time today. Um, there's our keep outside there. Oh, whatever. Uh, I guess let's go find someone to hang out with. Uh, we can't hang out with Chiaki, so I guess we can go hang out with one of the guys. Why are you in the grave house? Um, yo, Gundam, where are you at? Actually, Fuhiko's good. Uh, oh, you guys even made things for you, though. So. God, this is straight on the eyes. Hey, hey yo, what's up? Here you go. Damn it. Can't tell what the time is because there's no fucking windows. Damn it, this sucks. Huh. You want to hang out with me? Man, you're pretty weird. Spend time today talking with Fuhiko about various things. So, Fuhiko and I grew a little closer. But I don't really have much to give him. Hey, Fuhiko. How's that wound on your stomach doing? Huh? That's fine. Nothing to worry about. I thought you'd say that. You must have an uh, abnormally strong willpower to actually slice open your own stomach like that. And again, you are the true ultimate Yakuza. Hmm. I just have Yakuza blood flowing in my veins. There's nothing strong about it. You no, know, I did something about it when I was in the hospital. Like, maybe this was all a dream. Dream, huh? How great would that be? Uh, sorry. I'll obviously be thinking about that more than I would. Well. That's not true. I've seen plenty of people dying up to now. As long as I'm burdened with the, Kazu the Kazurio name, I've always been dealing with the mountain of bodies. But you guys aren't like me. Sick joke to see students who live honest lives bumming each other off like this. I always know it's violent death. See, he's used to it. Huh. Are you scared to talk to me? Huh? Jeez. You don't deny it. I'm used to being treated with caution by everyone. Hey. The word is, uh... The words of barbaric place, especially my world. Everyone I know tries to settle things with violence. You guys have to have different values than I do. Well, I mean, like I say, predators are always stronger than their prey. Even a hothead, even if it's just a minor argument, he'll come with you with everything he's got. When, when him and my mom fight, she seriously tries. She seriously tries to kill him. Man, yakuza means you can even kill the man you love to get your point across. I would hear stuff like that since I was, since before I was old enough to understand what's going on around me. It's a pretty outrageous home life. The worlds we both live in could be more dang different. Like... There were a few times where I nearly got killed in the aftermath of my parents' fights. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, whenever something like that happened, Pekka was always there by my side. I'm sorry, I made you remember something painful. Huh? You don't need to apologize for that, you strange bastard. But still, 
I'm a rightful successor of the Kazuriel clan. I don't get overwhelmed very easily. By the time I was in second grade, I didn't even cry even when I lost a fight. I see. Good for you. Hey, bastard. Good for me. Treat me like a child. I don't really know what else to say to him. Anyway, it's not much. But I'm starting to get to know for you. He a little better. Fuyuhiko's yeah, report card. Cool. I turned to Fuyuhiko, but some things are part of ways and returned to my room. Yeah, okay, so still my room. What time is it right now? Sorry, 10 p.m. Should I thought? I can't get any sense of what time it is. There's no windows in Monoku's announcements. So literally, but I should go back to my room. Alright, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, why not hit the like and subscribe button down below. It means a whole hell of a lot. It means you enjoy my shitty ass content. Next time, we'll move on to the next day. Maybe have someone. Maybe someone's going to die and we can go on into investigation. Or we just have another three day trial. Three day free, uh, three free periods. Which is very strange. But, this is a very strange chapter, definitely. But, that being said, all my social media links are down in the description below if you still want to check those out. And I hope you stick around for the next video. This is PC, signing off. Bye-bye.